Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, family, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, well, I'm here, the family's here, and we're going to pretty much try to look at stories and talk about them, especially the ones that just don't make no kind of sense. <clears throat> we can't find heads or tails on why this person is doing this and who put them up to it. Well, we're back on Charles again. I know him as Prince Charles, but the world now know him as King Charles. But, child, he got a little hissy fit. He wanted his stuff cleared off his desk, and he felt like he didn't have to move it himself. His servants were supposed to do that. Now, see, ain't that privilege? That's a pri privileged British man, okay? Which he needs to sit himself down and just turn the reins over to William because he don't know what he's doing. You can even tell he don't know what he's doing when you look at him. He look like he's distraught. Like, hell, I wanted the, the kingdom. But, hell, my mama sat here and lived all these darn years, 96 years. Well, probably about, let me see, we're going to start 20, uh, maybe 70 some years on the throne. And it don't pass me by. I don't want to do this. This is what his look is giving me. I don't want to do shit now. I want to just live out my life. How have I been doing it? But now, it don't fell in my laps. I don't want it. <laughs> this is what he is giving me by his motions, by his looks. He like, he just disturbed. <clears throat> like, how dare my mama leave now? When she was old, really old, and I'm old. I don't want to do this. I want to just go and ride horses and play polo and, and eat at the club and... and, and whatever but i don't want to be sitting up here all dressed up every day going nowhere meeting with men meeting with women going around shaking children's um hands and kissing them on the cheek he said he ain't got time for that <laughs> so what did he do he come in trying to do his um uh, royalty duties and he don't like how his desk is set up he just think it's just too clumsy and too cluttered and he's just telling his staff members look clear that out clear that out that should not be here i can't sign important papers with all this stuff here what is all this stuff i said charles it's probably the stuff you need to put your name to the feather in the ink and you need to sign your initials that's probably why all those papers are sitting on your desk grandpa okay Grandpa is just too fit to be tied. He is just like getting on everybody's nerves. Like, weren't you the successor? What, what you, were you not waiting? Were you not groomed for this? Yes, it took almost 70-some years. Hell, it did take 70-some years. But look, you still got breath in your body. We don't really know how, about how your brain is working up there. We don't know if you're missing some, some, some screws or, or some wires not connected. But you just look angry. You don't look like you don't lost your mind. You just look angry. <laughs> Ooh. King Charles is just furious. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, let me just update you. We got an article from Page Six Family, and it was titled um, "King Charles the Third Fur Wait a Furiously Signaling Aids to Clear Deaths Goes Viral." Okay. Rachel Summer Small wrote it up for page six, and it goes a little something like this. King Charles III was just officially proclaimed UK's new reigning monarch on Saturday, yet he's already had a moment gone viral. Now, let me just go uh, piggyback off an idea that was thrown in my head probably two videos ago, meaning yesterday or the day before that. Now, he didn't like Meghan Markle to come around with cameras and filming each and everything. You know what I'm saying? Now, how did the camera catch you going off on people, King Charles? Do you have your own 
selected a photographer, videographer to record these things, sir. That sounds like the the pot calling the kettle black. Okay, when both of them are black. But that's just my sidebar. We're going to go on back to the article. It says, moments before signing the accession proclamation marking his official ascension to the throne of the British Commonwealth, the monarch found himself having to frantically gesture at aides to clear the desk where he was to ink his name on the documents. Now, like, are you serious? Are you serious, Charles? You couldn't put some of those papers to the side, just grab, grab all of them and, and make sure they're in order and make sure they, you know, their lengthwise is okay and you just take one piece of paper at a time. Could you not have done that? Why are you ordering people around for some nonsense shit that you could have did yourself? I mean, when you go potty, do you have somebody to hold your penis while they direct it into the uh, toilet? Come on, son. Do you have people just undress you and give you a bath? Like in the Romans time, way back when. What are we doing, Charles? You don't live the privileged, plush, plush life, okay? Now you just want to really cut up on the folks. But going back to the article, the objects of concern consisted of a pen box and an inkwell, both of which had reportedly been gifted to him by his sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. Charles could be seen on camera pointing at the items requesting they be removed immediately. <laughs> now, see, it couldn't be no British, I couldn't be no British person up there serving him. Because the only thing he had to do was look at me. I was like, mm-mm. I would hit that one finger up, like, mm-mm. You better sit your ass down and get to signing them papers. This is the shit you wanted for 70 some years. Well, you got it now. And you sit there and clear on them papers off there. And you, them, them the ones you still probably have to sign. So just take one piece of paper at a time, son. Take one piece of paper at a time. But anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. <clears throat> Because we didn't like he was sitting up there looking and ordering folks around like they're his servants. Okay, I thought they were just on his team. But he asking people to just move little stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Did Camille not stroke you last night? Or what in the hell is going on with you, angry man? Angry King Charles? What's going on, dude? We need you to get it together or leave it alone. If you don't want that job, say you gone, okay? That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do, Charles. Pass it on down to the one who really need to be running things now, which is William, okay? Not you. Your time had come and passed, but hey, you're going to get maybe a couple of years out of it or something. I don't know. Or you might live to be 96 or 100 because your mama sure lived long. But your daddy didn't, did he? So it might be, okay, we ain't going to go there. We're just going to go back to the, um, going back to the, uh, the article. And where did I leave off? Okay. No, we did. We said that. We did that. Okay. The servant must clear my desk for me. I can't be expected to move things. One person. One minute. One person who was watching the live broadcast uh, joked on Twitter with another one adding, first day on the job and already he's fed up. <laughs> Well, I don't think I can say he old as hell, okay? He probably got aches and pains, and with the weather switching up on him, he probably needs some uh, green rubbing alcohol, maybe a little bourbon here and there, and he just want to play a little polo. Or if he don't want to ride the horses, he just want to sit down at the club and just talk nonsense, because that's pretty much what men do. They scratch their asses, they uh, uh, sweep over their uh, bald heads, and then they go for the cigar. I'm like... What? <laughs> what are we doing here, Charles? What are we doing here? Okay. A third noted Charles' brief fury at the pen tray. Uh, it's definitely the highlight of this for me. During the ceremony, which took place at the centuries-old diplomatic hub of St. James Palace in Westminster, London, UK's House of Commons leader and Lord President of the Council, uh, Penny Mordock, Docked invited His Majesty to sign two proclamations, including one declaring the King Elizabeth II death a blank a bank holiday, 
damn, you, you y'all, y'all don't have hell. Y'all need to be working over there, but don't seem like y'all working. But hey, if you can get all the federal holidays that's possible, let's do it. Let's do it, okay? I, I wish they did it quick, quick over here in our country. I wish they did, but it don't move like that over here in the American Western world. But okay, you, you, uh, okay, Charles dies. He gonna get a day off too. With, with the citizens gonna get all, a day off to mourn him as well. Okay, but they they wanted him to sign that. Um, becoming a holiday, his mother's death, to be in effect where nobody go to work. They just sit there and mourn her each and every year until somebody else comes and counsel that idea and be like, no, we don't want, we're not going to do that. Okay, we're not going to do that. People need to go on and go to work for their people, okay, for their family members because I don't even think they probably get paid for it. You think they get paid for it? Yeah. Okay, anyway, moving on. It says, beforehand, Charles 73 delivered a heartfelt speech reflecting on his mother's death. My mother's reign was unequaled in its duration, its dedication, and its devotion. Even as we grieve, we give thanks for this most faithful life, the royal said. I am deeply aware of this great inheritance and of duties and heavy responsibilities on servanty which have now passed to me. Queen Elizabeth died. On September 8th at the Balmora Castle, which is said to have been a favorite getaway for the late monarch. Her passing at 96 concluded the longest reign of a single monarch in Britain's history. Having celebrated seven decades of the throne, her latest platinum jubilee took place in June of 2022. On Saturday, just hours after Charles was officially proclaimed king, Meghan Markle was also spotted reuniting with Prince Harry, Prince William, and Kate Middleton. The foursomes gathered, the foursome gathered together in public to view the heartfelt tributes uh, left in honor of Queen Elizabeth II. Okay. Let me see if I had another thing. Okay. No, that was it. That was it, y'all. But Charles, he just, <laughs> or should I call him Playboy King Charles the Third? Was that the second King Charles the Second? Child, that man is too old to be up in anybody's political or or, or what do you call it official uh, politician type of realm or platform. He he don't need to be up there because I I feel even here now in our country, if you ain't sissy. Maybe okay. The old, the oldest you can run and claim office, you got to be fifty-five, because we don't need you already shifting in your memory when it comes to fifty-five. You, you got more aches and pains coming on. You're falling here and there because your gait is off. When you hit sixty and seventy, man, all that you need to be looking at is a newspaper or a book, and it just might put your ass to sleep. <laughs> can you see? Can you see, brother? Charles up there signing papers till the wee hours of the night he might be signing somebody else's name. I'm like, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. We need William up in there. William need to be overseeing what his dad is doing because he is, what, 73? He need to be on a golf course. So he need to be in one of those golf buggies just running around saying hey to all the, you know, the uh, people that uh, look up to him, that honor him. That's what he need to be doing. He need to be going to special occasions where he just is there just for a political figure. And he's, you know, being treated like royalty. You know, like go visit the nursing homes, the retirement homes. Go build the new buildings that they're trying to build up in uh, Europe. Go and um shit just keep out there be traveling you know what i'm saying because COVID didn't stop his ass he was still out there and he had no mask on okay so he was making it do what it do but we're gonna need charles to calm down on his uh team we're gonna need him to focus and for him to learn that now he has to get up a little earlier because they want him in the parliament making decisions listening to arguments listening to uh people speak for the um citizens of their country you see what i'm saying and he might fall asleep because damn sure biden be over here taking serious nap times okay when he's supposed to be reading off the uh prompt teleprompter or he's supposed to be engaged in a conversation with other people trying to get bills passed and listened to brother over there having a nap <laughs> 
<laughs> and we, you know he was out there riding a bicycle and hiding the hair. He gonna be parked and fall over. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> That's why don't nobody need to be running past fifty five okay or oh, we we we'll take it up we'll give you a little 60 okay but that's a really that is the latest that is the most cut off time of anything political that you should be running for because hey time gets away from you okay you don't know if you're coming or going half the time when you're in your 60s and 70s you ain't got no damn business running a government okay because you might say okay let's go to war and they'd be like what you talking about <laughs> and he must run and push that nuclear button you know what i'm saying I'm like uh, uh we don't no 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 william i hope you you somewhere close so you can watch your dad and you can tell us now tell us what's really going on because you know the media doesn't say anything that's because he's supposed to be being the successor or his ascension to the throne when his mama died but he may not be mentally fit to be there so you make sure you're watching your daddy because we don't want him to be starting world war five six seven eight nine ten over there okay we need him to be of good health of good mind and body okay just go on out there and visit with the citizens give him you know things he need to go charity philanthropy type work well he don't have to sign nothing now because we know i'm like where's his glasses where's the man glasses do he not have them on and you can't tell me that he ain't he has perfect vision because no nobody at that age gonna have perfect vision no you even lose some of your your what do you call it your we seeing um when you're when you can't see close up or you can't see uh that's when it's far sighted and because near sighted you can't see far away because that's what i am i ain't got a little stigmatism so and i'm just 54 so i know your 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 um uh, eyes be changing your body be changing but he tripped me the hell out <laughs> with this video his brother gonna say uh why is my desk like this? Please move that out the way. Please do that. It's like y'all ain't listening to me. And we're like, no, we're not listening to you. Because you could have sat there. I'm sure the desk was spotless. You just didn't want something in the place where it was sitting. You wanted to move the other way, but you didn't want to touch it. You see what I'm saying? You wanted your servants to do that. Now, see, that's, that's being a little bit too privy. Oh, that's a, a lot of privilege going on, uh, King Charles. We need you to get it together. We do, cause we don't need no more uh, videos or, or or what you call uh, snapshots of you getting into it with your staff members because they didn't uh, open the door for you and close it back, <laughs> or they didn't put you in like you getting put in like a child in a car seat. They didn't tuck you in right, or they didn't turn off the light. No, your hands need to move just like it was moving before you became king. Okay, we don't need you to be. Uh, a diva over there, a man diva. We don't need you to do that, okay? We just need you to show up when you're supposed to be showing up and, and, and sign those papers correctly. Uh, and, and that's what the, the citizens of Britain need from you, okay? And they probably need you to modernize things over there. But how you moving now? How you just like, I ain't touching that. Why my seat ain't pulled out for me? Because you ain't a woman, man. Because you're not a woman. You should be able to pull out your own damn seat, okay? But I tell you. King Charles or something else. I, I get tickled every time I see him because I don't know why he remind me of um, Daddy uh, McCain, Grandpa McCain. <laughs> Lord, they always talk about they want they want to do this, they want to do that, and don't have the health to do it. They are something else. But that's all I got of this video, guys. I just had to bring that one out because he tickled the hell out of me all the way home when I saw that video. I was like half looking at it and driving, but I was listening intently. <laughs> But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.